Hey, hey, hey. It's that time of week where it's time to focus our energy and pull it in. Lots of cosmic energy brewing this week, and I wanted to just jump on and talk a little bit about what we can expect these next few days and how we can focus our energy to move through it. So come on in. I'm Terry Ann Hyman, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. So come in, join, hit that share button, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to share. So you may notice I look a little funny Yes, I had a little procedure this weekend, and I'm very happy to say, I'm very grateful I caught it in time. Had a little bit of swollenness going on here, as you can see, so I might as well just be right out in front with it. So, yes, I set this up, and I share this to my group, the Empowered Spirit Circle. Do the same for me, and I'll just talk a little bit about what happened. It's that C word. I don't even want to say it, but... Yes, a little bit of skin cancer. I did. I had a basal cell carcinoma. I caught it in time. Yay. So I had a little procedure, take care of it, and now I'm recovering. I've spent the last couple of days just kind of withdrawn, coming in, healing, taking some time for me. So I feel better, and I am grateful for my life. Gosh, I'm grateful, and really, for all those that have been through something like this, I hear you, and it has helped me to understand a little bit more about what it's like to be sick, to be ill. It's not my normal. I feel a little bit like, oh no, I'm not supposed to be sick, but I'm okay. And I caught it in time, which is really important to do and take care of ourselves, right? I'm not one to really be at the doctors, but I had to deal with it. And so I am grateful. It was a basal cell. I caught it in time. Now I'm just recovering. And sometimes we have to do that, you know, even though I'm a healer and I'm not supposed to get sick, things happen. And so I have taken this time these last few days to come in, figure it out, see what it holds for me, and be really, really grateful for my life and that I did catch this in time. I will be okay. So to all of you out there that have suffered with any kind of cancer, any kind at all, it's not fun, right? We have to look underneath and find out what it's about and take care of it. All right, so don't look at this part of me. Look at this part. I'm real. I'm vulnerable. My heart goes out to all of you who have to stay longer than a weekend to heal. So, yes. All right, so now that I've got that out of the way and can forget about the vulnerability of how I look, let's take a moment. It's almost 7 o'clock. Come on in. And let's just send our energy. I know it's a holiday weekend. A lot of people are probably out there still having a good time. Yay, because it's been beautiful. We had so much energy going on, so much weather. Yes, so I wanted just to take a few moments and share this energy of these next few days and what we can all expect and how we can pull our energy in. All right, so come in. Give me a thumbs up if you see me. I can never quite tell who's around, who's seeing me. So come in. Give me a thumbs up. If you feel the intensity of this energy right now, too, of what's going on, give me a high five. <laughs> give me a like. Give me some hearts. All right? We've been through a lot. We had all that weather going on down in Houston. We've got another hurricane brewing. And we've got all that eclipse energy that's been building. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about this evening and how we can focus it and really go forward and use this energy for our highest good. So come on in not going to be on too long tonight, but I did want to share a little bit, all right? I know for myself, I've been feeling lots of differences going on, and the more that I spent within my own self this weekend, the more I noticed. How about the light in the morning and before sunrise as it's coming up? There's a different vibration. Can you feel that vibration? Do you notice it? Are you seeing the colors? Give me a hashtag yes if you are. Are you noticing that different feeling in the morning? Are you getting up and seeing the colors come in? Definitely a different spiritual color. Definitely a different vibration. Are you feeling that? We've been building all that energy from that eclipse. All right. Now we're coming into a full moon on Wednesday. So all of this energy has been building. All right. All of this energy going forward has been really building and really 
creating a little bit of emotional energy, sensitivity energy out there, and all of us are asking what it is that we need to do. So that's what we're going to focus on. It's about one more minute till seven. So if you would, come on in, say hello to me, hit share. Maybe you know somebody that needs a little focusing of energy that's an out of sorts and that needs a little help in understanding where their path is right now. So go ahead and hit share for me. Give me a thumbs up. All right, we're going to start in about one minute. Let this get going. Share this and just notice where you are right now. All right, it's Sunday. I know we have a holiday tomorrow, but I'm kind of that disciplined on time person that wants to keep going through my week. All right, here it is, seven o'clock. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. And just notice where you are right now. And let's just pull our energies in together. Feel your feet flat on the floor. Bringing that focus in. Taking a moment and pulling it all together. All right, so as I was talking about before we started, I was talking about the energy of the week coming in. We have a full moon on Wednesday. We have a lot of energy that's been building out. Yes. Since the eclipse, it's that solar eclipse. So all of this energy, that was a new moon. We're coming up into a full moon. All right, that's all that light out there, all right? How does a full moon affect you? Give me a hashtag full moon if you know it affects you. All right, it happens to be in Pisces. So Pisces is going to add an extra level of emotional energy. It's also going to add an extra level of intuitive and psychic energy out there. So trust your instincts rather than trusting others, all right? That's really important this week. Go within, calm down, ask yourself what's different about you. There's a lot of differences going on in our energy levels, a lot of differences in those vibrations. Ever since that eclipse, it shifted. Remember, we talked about the alignment. So that alignment is still coming forward. We were doing a lot of resetting in August. Now we come in in September. And I know Mystic Mama was talking about adjustment. So that's what we're talking about too. We're talking about adjusting that alignment, adjusting that vibration of energy. I know I feel a little different inside. Despite my little setback here, I know that I feel a little bit out there in my work. I feel stronger in my purpose. What about you? Have you noticed those differences for your own self? All right, if you're struggling a little bit, Pretty normal right now with all that's going on, with all the weather patterns, with what's happened in Houston. Now we have another hurricane they're talking about brewing. All the more reason we need to stay grounded and stay focused on what we're doing. All right, really easy to get off track, really easy to get caught in the chaos, really easy to get caught in the drama. So yes, come into your energy and really continue to ground your energy. All right, we're all gonna be really happy. After this week, Mercury Retrograde is gonna go direct does take a little bit of time to move out, so you're going to finally feel that your energy is going forward. Some of those projects, some of those things you've been waiting for, you're going to feel the ability to move forward with it. It's going to take about another week, but the energy just does start to move out this week. All right, so between the full moon and between that going on, there's a lot of Mars energy too. You're going to feel this a little bit of like chaos, off balance. A lot of things are going to be rising up for you to look at and for you to evaluate. So really important that you take that time all right every day every single day we need to sit still and ask ourselves what is going on get quiet let the thoughts detox out because right now things are really stirring up we have that adjustment to do in our energy levels and that is what is really important all right staying above that chaos is awesome really good that we do that all right so just imagine where you are right now all right Summer's coming to an end. The seasons, what happens in the fall is we start to pull our energy in. Winter, we're in there, but right now we're coming from the summer, which has been very outward, to the fall, which is going to be a very inward time. We're going to start to pull that in. We switch our energy. We switch our vibration as September comes forward with the energy of fall. So notice where you are right now. What is that adjustment that you need? What is that centering and balance that's going to help you in your life, what is that for you? All right, so let's just take a nice deep inhale. I'm going to do some cards. Let that soak in as you ask these questions for yourself. So the focus for the cards today is really how can we use this energy for our highest good? What is it that we need to hear or to know? So take a nice deep inhale and exhale. I'm drawing from the wild unknown. 
They've got a lot of energy to offer us. All right, here we go. So the first card, very interesting enough, that comes up is the Mother of Swords. Now, last week we had the Daughter of Swords. All right, this card takes what we had last week and goes a little further, reminding us to be still. All right, the owl, the wise owl still looks round. It's all-knowing. All right, so the mother is a little bit more mature than that daughter energy. So this is someone that is really very practical, very aligned in the energy of her thoughts. However, however, the mother can be very critical, and that critical energy can turn on yourself at some time. So this is really what I think the message is for us this week. Be still, take in the information, and try not to get so critical on your life, all right? Very important that we don't get caught in that criticism because what does that do? Leads to self-negative uh, talk, right? So be careful with that. Observe and stay in that stillness, but watch the criticism coming forward. All right, so that's our anchor card. So the next card that comes up is a great card to follow is the temperance card. Temperance is about change. It's about finding that chemical balance, like that, that balancing of the opposing elements. In this particular case, it's the fire and the water. Many times that can be like that charged anger. So being able to find that balance is very healing. So in that criticism card, right, that mother of swords, finding that balance. So lots of times that's solitude. Lots of times that's being quiet. Lots of times that's releasing. And that's exactly what the full moon energy is about too, releasing that excess energy and tempering, tempering that spirit. All right. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Interesting. The next card that comes up is the eight of cups. And that's a card that's saying, okay, it's over. It's done. This old way of being has had its way, which is a really good card to come up following that eclipse energy, right? Because many of us shifted our energy. We went through that portal, right? We raised our vibration. So the old way is done. All right. Let it go. And that's what the full moon is always about. It's always about releasing. So now is the time, all right? If there's old energy, especially now that we're going to go into a new season, let it go. Whatever it is for you, all right? Now, how do we do that? The Daughter of Cups. We've had this card several times. She comes forward to remind us to ground, to not be so scattered, right? It's easy to get all over the place. But grounding right now is really important as we all go through this major adjustments that we've been talking about. Really important to ground our energy. All right, and then the bottom of the deck is the moon. Perfect card for right now. The moon draws out the shadows. It draws out that intuitive abilities that we all have. It helps to illuminate, right? Especially that full moon that's coming up for us. All right, so if we take this and apply it to our week, remind yourself to sit still. Don't get too caught in that critical mind, all right? Practical, yes. Not too much in the critical of your own self. Have some temperance. Balance those elements out for you, all right? Be able to find the balance and the healing. This is a healing card. That heron is a healing card that can help you to find the adjustments that need to be. Whatever it is, let it go. It's old. You know what this is, and only you know what this is. So go deep within and find out that part of you that you can let go as that moon gets full. All right? And the way to do it is to stay grounded. Really important to stay grounded. Yes, this is a creative card. This is a lot of heartfelt energy. Look at the rainbow and the water. But this is also to remind us, don't get all over the place to stay grounded as we move through this energy of this full moon. Let the shadows out. Open up to the illumination in your own life. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale out. Let it go. And let's just take a few moments and focus our energy. Feel the feet flat on the floor. Take a nice deep inhale and bring that breath all the way up the body. And as you exhale, bring it all the way back down deep into the earth. Feel the feet on the floor. And just start to pull all your energy in. Call it all back from the week. Call it back. And feel yourself grounding as you send that breath deep into the earth. And inhale, send that breath all the way up the body, up into the heavens. And exhale, coming all the way back down. Feel your energy grounding deep into the earth. Dropping a grounding cord. Let's use the grounding cord tonight. It's coming into that full moon. Feel that grounding cord going deep into the earth. And just release out all that excess energy right now, especially the emotional energy. Fear, judgment, stress, let it go. 
Imagine, pretend, visualize it all releasing down, all right? Energy can never be destroyed, only transformed. Transform it into more usable energy for you. Inhaling and exhaling. Send that breath all the way down deep into the earth, releasing out that excess energy that we hold in the belly, all that excess emotional energy from the heart. Let it go. Inhaling and exhaling. The key to this week is grounding and being still. A lot of chaos will start out as we move forward into the week. So take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, imagine all that chaos releasing. Feel yourself centering into yourself. And feel the feet flat on the floor. Dropping into the heart. And on your next breath, open the heart out. Send the breath from your heart. Send out love and light for all people everywhere. And exhale, pull that energy back into you. And just for a moment, imagine a big old golden ball above the head, all right? Imagine it up there. And imagine that golden light just shining on you, grounding your energy for this week, centering, releasing what doesn't serve you anymore, and staying focused. This is the way to move through the week. Feel the feet on the floor. Be strong. Be powerful. Find that adjustment in your energy. Let that vibration rise just a little bit more. Come back to your spiritual path, all right? If you've been out there all summer, now's the time to start bringing that energy inward. Recommit to your path and to your purpose. Shine your light. You are needed right now. All right. Coming back, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Feel yourself grounding. And just for a moment, bring the awareness right here to that third eye center. Open up that third eye. This new, this full moon in Pisces is going to really open up our intuition if you allow it. Visualize right here out into your life. Have a great week. Take care of your health. Know what's going on. Thanks for joining me. To your spirit, namaste.